Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about how to find the equation of a circle. These problems are given by a student who are requesting for me to help her on how to find the equation of the circle given its center radius. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here, example number one, wherein we are given the center of the circle, which is 17 comma 5 and then for the radius we have 12. Now for us to find the equation of the circle we will be using the standard form or the center radius form of any circle. So we have here x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to the radius raised to the second power. Now, medyo madali lang itong example na to. First, huwag mo napapalitan si x and y because it will serve as the variable of the, cir of the circle. Now, as for the 17 and 5, ito yung center natin. The 17 will be, will represent your h. Your k naman is represented by 5. So, palitan muna natin to. Now, baka nalilito kayo ha. You have to copy x. And then, dito, Para madali niyo matandaan, when you, when you plug in H and K, all you need to do is to put its additive inverse. Additive inverse. So, pinakamadaling way para matandaan niyo yun, kung ano yung nakikita niyo sign with your H and K, reverse or opposite sign. If this is positive 17, lagay mo dito, minus 17 raised to the second power, plus Y your k is also positive. Additive inverse of 5 is negative 5, so this, that is minus 5 raised to the second power. Now, what about your radius? This is your r. You will plug it in here. r is 12, so this is 12 raised to the second power. Now, what will happen? Copy this one. x minus 17 squared plus y minus 5 squared, and what is 12 squared? 12 squared is 144. And this is now the equation of the circle with the center of 17, 5, radius of 12 in center radius 4. So if your teacher will ask you about the general form, you can expand this one. And for sure, you can do it. Now let's move on with number two for number two we are given here another scenario about the equation of this circle in which we are given the center which is negative eight comma negative four and it contains negative four comma two yung ibig sabihin ito parang ano isipin nito ano yung point ito it pa uh, the circle passes through this point now so, ano una natin gagawin dyan? Una, syempre, we need to consider the center radius form. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. As you can see, yung h natin, meron tayo itong h. Yung k, meron din tayo dito. Pero wala tayong ipapalit kay r. Later on, explain ko pa natin siya kunin. So, palitan muna natin yung ating h. So, sabi ko sa inyo kanina, additive inverse. This is negative 8. The additive inverse of negative 8 is plus 8 or positive 8. So, that is plus 8 raised to the second power. And then, plus y. This is negative 4. This must be plus 4 raised to the second power. Now, here's the thing. Wala pa tayong r. So, how are we going to find r? We will use the distance formula. The distance formula is this one. D is equal to the square root of... X sub 2 minus 1 squared plus y sub 2 minus x sub 1 squared. Ngayon, bakit ang kailangan gumamit ang distance formula? Now, imagine this one is a circle. This is your center. Sabihin natin ito yung negative 8. 
comma negative 4. Sabi dito, it contains negative 4 comma 2 or it passes through this point. Sabihin natin na dito yan. Yung negative 4 comma 2. When you connect these two points, it will serve as your radius. So para mahanap natin yan, yung length ng radius na yan, we need to calculate the distance between the point of your center and this point of the circle. So ito yung magiging x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Okay, let's substitute in the formula. d is equal to the square root of your x sub 2 is negative 4 minus your x sub 1 is negative 8 so gawin natin itong plus 8 squared nag-eliminate lang tayo ng isang process because this is negative pag nalagay mo ito dito additive inverse lang or multiply mean signs plus your y sub 2 is 2 minus your x sub 1 is negative additive inverse plus 8 squared simplify natin yung power ay yung parenthesis Negative 4 plus 8 is 4. Then squared plus this is how many? This is 10, right? 10 squared. Simplify. This is 16 plus 100. So D is equal to square root of 100. 16. Tama? Square root of 116. Now, for the square root of 116, actually, pwede na natin tong extract. Kasi, ang extracted roots nito is 4 times 29. Magiging square root of 4 is 2 and square root of 29. Pero, I will, sub I will suggest na gawin nyo lang tong square root of 116. Okay? Pwede to ah. Pwede to. Kaso nga lang, Yung atin dito ang r is may square. So, ang r natin dito is ito kasi. r is also equal to your d. So, gawin natin dito is ito. Square root of 116 raised to the second power. Copy this. x plus 8 squared plus y plus 4 squared. And here, makakancel ito. 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 To become... 116. Ito na ngayon yung mismo sagot natin. Ngayon, bakit di ko pinagamit sa inyo itong 2 square root of 29? Kasi, kapag in-square natin yung 2 square root of 29, ang lalabas din is itong 116. So, I hope guys, na you learned something from this video. And sana sa nag-request ito, you can watch this video para mas matutunan mo kung paano gawin itong problem. So, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit mo na rin yung bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!